Good morning and welcome to Gloucester. So, how do you play to single figures? Well, it's as much attitude as it is mechanical. Good attitude gets good scores. Bad attitude gets bad scores. So I've opened with a disgusting drive. Now I had the five wood in my hand for a moment, but in reality all I want to do is get it down between them two bunkers and wedge it on. And that is good attitude. And with little pressure I can hit a good shot. 82 yards, bit of a lazy gap wedge, easy shot right? So even though we've got the right attitude, it's not going to plan. We start with a double. And then we hit a block that cracks off a tree and leaves us a very long way back. Now this is a real test of character. It's going wrong. We're only on the second hole. Just got to get this down towards the front of the green. And this is where the low handicapper's short game starts to kick in. But it's your attitude to the bad shots that'll bring us some good shots later on. Not overly happy with that one, but this is where you knuckle down and you get your par. Well, after a ropey start, it's time to concentrate. It's time to start really trying. Shoved it out to the right again. It's not looking very pretty at all. This is looking more like 18 handicap golf than four handicap golf. Greens are slow, they're a bit bobbly, holding these is not a given, but we've got to give it as much effort as we can, and it wasn't far away. So three over after three, it would be very easy to quit and turn this round into an 88, but we keep trying. This is where we don't panic, we don't try and knock the cover off the ball, we just keep going. It's a test of character. 179, two front bunkers to get over, four iron is plenty. then we can always miss the two front bunkers by hitting yet another smelly shot. This is where the character kicks in. Don't panic. Concentrate on the shot. Get it up and down. Nicely done. Five feet. And then we sweat over it. We make damn sure we don't miss it. That is pure determination. Fifth hole, we get a little rest. We concentrate on hitting it the best we can. One of the worst things you can do when you've got a layup kind of hole like this is switch off on it. You've got to give it as much effort as any other shot on the golf course. 
out to the right again. This is most definitely my fault at the moment. An ugly putt, but at least it is, finally, a two putt par. A short par five, this is our opportunity to get something back. And where's that drive been hiding the past few holes? That's a beauty. Green is in range. I know there's water left, but that isn't in play for me with my fade, so I take it on. Well, that was a bit bottom groove, didn't get all of it. We're making sandcastles next. Another putt to sweat over, but these are the putts I practice. And that's why I practice them. Now, just because you're single figures, it doesn't mean that you're not an idiot. And once again, I'm trying to go over the corner, when I should be aiming down the left, and hitting the fade. That, in fact, is the last time I tried to hit the tee shot over the corner. In the deep stuff, unlikely to reach, but at least I've got a clear route. So we don't try and do anything special. We do what we can. And if all we can do is get it to the front, then we get it to the front. Chip up the green. Short again. I wish they'd get the mowers out. And another putt to sweat over. Now from the competition tees I get five shots so I'm supposed to shoot 75. From the yellows I only get four and I'm supposed to shoot 72 because the scratch is 68. So when I'm on the yellows I go over the pond all I've got to do here is get down to the ball. Well, I got down to the big ball first. So that's fat. <laughs> yeah, I lost 50 yards on that five wood. Still a very simple pitch. Well, I've wasted both short par fives on the front, but there's no need to panic. There's plenty of time to actually start making a score. That was a little thin, and it's left me a mile away from the flag. Now I'm pretty good at lag putting, and I'm pretty good at short putting. But you don't always Get them all. That's my entire handicap gone on the front nine. Well, that's the front nine done. I'll tell you one thing. Once I get all this sorted out and everything's working on autopilot, and then all I've got to think about is target, I'm going to be bloody dangerous. Back nine to come.
one of the great things about golf is you have absolutely no idea what you're going to score or even where you're going to score it before you go out. If it was predictable, we just wouldn't play it, would we? Very difficult shot to the hardest. Hardest green on the course, and then you hit one like that. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Another slow putt. And another three footer to sweat over. Eleven, where I need height to get up here, not necessarily length. And I've been struggling, and I think because I've been too anxious. So try and hit a smooth one, and sure enough, it's up there. And for those of you who watched the chipping video, you know how much borrow I've got to give on this putt. One of the important things is if you are not comfortable, step away from the ball and set up again. Which I completely failed to do here. And I hit it out of the neck, so it hasn't gone very far. So there's a lesson for you. In fact, I'm so far back, with the flag on the right, I can't even see it. I've had a little laser, but I think I've lasered the bank behind the green, and not the flag. And sure enough, I've hit it to the bank behind the green. And this is another case of don't panic. Play your chip. Get it close. Sweat over the putt. Don't rush it. Get it right. Get your par. Move on. But I'm feeling a lot better about my game Time to put the hammer down. On any golf course you will have a stretch of favourite holes. In my case, at Gloucester, it's the last four. I always feel like I own these holes. In fact, in a match, if I'm stood on the 15th tee, all square, I don't think I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win.
a wedge hole. You wouldn't believe how many times I've finished inside two feet. Left of the flag, a little bit of side spin, and it goes down to the flag. But that had no side spin and simply came six feet backwards. Now it's late in the evening and the dew is gathering on the greens. And even as a single figures, you get it wrong. Quick check to see if the break is exactly how I think it is. And pop it in. Now you're going to have to listen for the tree on this one. This is where I try to force a score. Get as lucky as hell. Well, I hit a decent provisional. I hit it where I wanted to be. Fortunately, I didn't need it. So I still got the birdie chance. That just makes the edge of the green. Go get your divot. So I hit that end tree to the left and came back into play. Yeah, I just can't buy one now. But that's golf. 17 done. Got away with murder there. I don't want to be that tight again. I need to be more in the damn fairway. You know, some guys like to go out on a Friday night. They go out drinking, dancing, and trying to get their leg over. I prefer golf. God, I'm weird. Ta-ra!